Well, we debuted Drone 8 yesterday here on 24 Hour News 8 with these amazing images along the lakeshore out in Holland. And we plan to use this new tool to showcase West Michigan and give you a new perspective in our storytelling. After we showed the video yesterday, we did get a lot of questions about how all of this works. So we did want to bring in our pilot, Kyle Underwood, to explain this. Kyle is an FAA certified pilot. The beautiful images that things able to produce. I mean, we're talking about something that's about the size of a pizza box. How much does this weigh? This weighs about five pounds diameter, about two, two and a half feet or so. And you know, Brian, how are we going to use this is the question I'm getting all the time. And I don't even know how to, how to answer that question because there's only a handful of stations in the whole country that are using these right now from a legal perspective because there are all these rules and stipulations right. for commercial operations. So we're kind of on the front edge of this with just a few other stations in the country and we're figuring it out as we go. Let's talk about privacy because a lot of the questions we've been getting about, you know, are you gonna, what are you going to show? What are you able to show? Yeah. We are under really tight restrictions here. Talk right. a little bit about that. So the Sterling family doesn't want to see this thing hovering in their backyard on a Saturday sure. afternoon. <laughs> here's, here's the stipulation with privacy. We are not allowed to go within 500 feet of people or buildings without express permission from that person or from the property owner. So you're never going to see this creeping up on you. Um, and, and it gives us a good buffer for folks to feel good about it, but for us also to maintain an ethical standard that we want to that we want to encourage. I'm thinking about some of the uses for this. Obviously, we saw some of the beauty shots along the lakeshore last night, but this will be helpful in being able to tell all sorts of stories uh, from the perspective that you usually don't get in any kind of local news coverage. And we're having constant conversations about that down in the newsroom. How can we use this tool from up in the sky to enhance visual the storytelling. Been updated. This thing even talks to us. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're, we're doing brainstorming sessions right now. Uh, I can tell you this, tomorrow, I believe it airs tomorrow, Ellen Baca, we were down with Ellen Baca at uh, Fen Valley Vineyards, and we were shooting some video of their vineyards, yeah. and she has a story on grape, produ grape wine production. And so you'll see that. That's just one idea we've come up with, and we're racking our brains down there because we want to put this to good use. I mean, it's an amazing piece of, uh, of, of equipment. It's got a fully stabilized... Well, let's show the camera real quick because we can get Get live images out of this camera. This is a really detailed camera. Let's take the actual image. There we go. So this is able. We're able to do this live. We can put this on live television. In other words, when you saw this yesterday on TV, we had this drone about a quarter mile out over the lake, and we were controlling it remotely from the shore, and we can stream full HD video back to the back to the station from this drone. So it's pretty remarkable. Has a fully stabilized three-axis gimbal camera. And uh, you notice how I'm, I'm kind of turning the helicopter mm -hmm. here and the camera is staying steady. It's a remarkable piece of technology. Um, some significant training went into this. Now you can go to a, a specialty store and buy something like this, but to use it for commercial operations, which is what we're doing, it requires a licensed pilot, like a guy, who, a guy or gal who can fly an airplane, right. to operate which these, you can, to, right, to operate these machines. But it also requires our insurance. Our insurance company wanted us to have company training. So I was out in Denver with some of my colleagues from the company, uh, from other stations, who were learning to fly these machines as well. So there's a lot that goes into it. And you know, when people think of drones, they think of a, either it's these military operations that they run overseas and we don't see these things right. or there's the toy drones well this is kind God. of the thing that's in between yeah it is fascinating just think years ago so they threw me in chopper eight and they just said go <laughs> now we've got something that's actually probably safer right better images definitely with the gimbal we look forward to using this as well yeah i mean we don't have 200 gallons of jet fuel on board right <laughs> and uh, it doesn't cost 1500 dollars to operate so we're really looking forward to using this to our visual arsenal here at absolutely Thanks, Kyle. Yeah.